Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading. Sorry, yours is a little bit late coming out. Um, but I have the Wild Unknown Tarot. We're going to go ahead and pull some cards and see what some main issues are for your next 48 hours. As always, I ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us so that the messages are from the right place. Okay. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. Mountain to climb. Mountain to climb. These cards have a little bit of different meanings to me because of, uh, I completely like memorize her like guidebook for this. So the readings are a little bit different with this deck, um, but we are going to clarify using, you know, classic traditional tarot. Um, well, that's good. So something is relieving your burden to get movement, to have movement because of something just not moving forward does have to do with family and soul connections or family and soul family um, type of opportunity, possibly. And the page of cups in the reverse on the bottom. So it was something that started off as maybe not so helpful, but something relieves your burden. So we are going to find out what that is using vice versa tarot. These cards have two sides to them, so I don't have to, obviously, I don't have to do reversals, so <laughs> let's go. Okay. Tell me about that Eight of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. So you still have them in that deck. There may be a delay with um, some cash, financial, something financial with the um, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, goodness, another nine. Also, you're letting go of something from the past, but here we go with the Nine of Cups. It is your wish granted. Uh, it's even when the stars are out. So, it is your wish granted. What else? Another freaking nine? Wow, that is odd. <laughs> that is odd to happen in a, in a reading. I mean... These readings, sometimes they really surprise me when it comes to the stinking numbers, man. Hmm. Okay, so this is really thinking about something that kind of makes you upset or mad. It is about divine timing with the temperance card. Oh, sorry. It is about divine timing. And the Three of Swords. It's also about a loss of some sort. But with that 999, I mean, that almost speaks louder than anything. So that is, like, all about um, having, really, with these cards, a good conclusion. Because you got the Wish Granted card and you have the Nine of Pentacles. So... A good conclusion um, at the end of the day, I believe. Let's pull some good tarot. Yeah, we'll pull some good tarot and get some like spirit advice for this reading. The nine of wands on the bottom of the deck. So if there is something that's kind of just moving okay or moving along all right. Trying to get that into view.
All right. <clears throat> So this is about perseverance, being courageous and persevering. All right, uh, what's this Nine of Pentacles about? The Six of Air. It is a solution to a problem. It is about getting away. We're having some kind of new thought. Wow, you have the Magician. So it's divine time for your manifestations to kind of come about. That's what they're saying with that advice. Maybe the advice is to just get away or um, clear your mind. The page of fire. This is about good news coming. No matter what, it's good news. And the nine of fire. Just not getting... Not giving up. Another nine. And a nine here. That's crazy. I would look at the angel numbers. The nine, 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 nine. nine. And then the two of earth. Because you're going to be very busy. The two of earth is bringing in balance. That energy is. Um, it, it Sometimes it's going back and forth on something. But... Ultimately, it's being able to balance things, maybe the things like in your life. Um, maybe the checkbook, maybe talking about that. So there might be something about picking up some more work that will help in a situation. Picking up some more work. Now, what else can we give them? What other advice? The Page of Waters, this is like a hopeful new beginning. Hopeful new beginning. The Three of Fire, it is about um, a journey, but it's also about expansion, working, you know, well with others too. I would also include it in that. Um to find a solution. So whatever this um, journey or wherever this vision takes you, it will be um, towards your own vision, your vision. Right. Okay, and then the Queen of Earth. So this has to do with maybe home business. Um, and also, it, it could have to do with how the household is, like, managed. There is something that you're creating, and it, it combines home and business and um, magician energy. So, it's something really good. Plus, that's your own energy there, Capricorn. So, that's good. earth that's nice so it's bringing in not just a little bit of wealth but whatever this nine of pentacles is that you are concentrating on getting it does come in um, and it actually manifests as a ten of earth which is a lot better because it's um, a big win it's something for uh, the whole family kind of like Okay, so doing well for the whole family, um, keeping the pentacles within the family, family business. And the page of earth, so um, a new investment opportunity. Ten of air, the king of water, the five of air. And the seven of earth. Um, okay, so 
This is good. Wow, you have the nine of earth on the bottom. Seriously, on the bottom you have the nine of earth. Wow. This might not be a very long reading, but it's a good reading. Um, you have a lot of pentacles. Like, you have a lot of pentacles to look forward to. Um, the king of water here is usually suggesting that you're handling your emotions really well and um, balancing things well. And it and as it shows, you know, balancing with the two of pentacles. The ten of air is kind of like, um, I, I think it's about reinventing yourself. I think it's about moving past what was a painful um, time. The five of air is basically feeling like... Um, feeling like you're being pulled in different directions or like somebody doesn't agree with you or something like that um but so that advice would be to keep calm and keep your emotions even the seven of earth has to do with patience it has to do with whatever you have invested so far um Yeah. So that's what I've got, guys. I don't really have anything to add. This is a really good reading. Oh, well, I mean, we can use another. We could use another deck. Let's do the Lover's Oracle for you. Okay, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. A message for you, I'm thinking of you this very moment, your love fills me with light, I love you. And give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And close it out with some fairy dust or Capricorn. Yeah, hey, shake it off. If you fall and others jeer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. Learn a little nudge. It's now your turn. Put on your thinking cap. It's time to learn. Looks good. All right. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me, Capricorn. Bye-bye.